Hi guys, once again it's James and um today I'm going to teach you guys how to um uh export and import images from your uh desktop to Blender. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to um you know change the the object mode the wireframe mode and all that just to make sure that you're not um, confused with the way blender works because sometimes blender might be uh, you know a little bit uh, um, confusing and um, uh, scary sometimes and um, yeah just to let you guys know I'm currently using the blender 2.68a version and um, yeah let's dive into this yeah, first of all, I would want you guys to go up here to File and go to Users Users Preference, and when you get there, go to Add-ons. Yeah, Add-ons, and on Add-ons, you would see uh, under the 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 categories uh, whatever. Up here, you would see all users enable and disable. In most cases, it is disabled. So when you when you click the disabled, you would see a lot of Blender uh, um, add-ons that are disabled. Um, so what we're looking for is the the export the import uh, import exports images. So we're just gonna keep scrolling down till we see the Blender export import uh, images import okay so as you guys can see here it's import export I images explain okay then I'm gonna have to check on that and when you check on that it does nothing just make sure it's checked and what I what I would actually advise you guys to check all of these okay so um you don't have to actually but just to make sure that it's already checked okay so yeah and um haul and um let's go to enabled this is enabled okay so yeah as you can see it's here import export uh images explains okay so it's already checked okay just scroll down to that and um yeah so so after that then hit save user settings user settings and that also does nothing but make sure you click a couple of times just to be sure and click the X button on top okay so and then after that then you're gonna go to file and go to import uh, yeah, import. Then you're gonna go to image explains. Before we, you know, made some changes to our uh, import. Um, this was not there before. The reason why it's here right now is because we made changes to it. Okay, so click on images explain. Then this it will get you here, um, showing you all the files on your PC. Okay, and um. So when you get here, uh, in my case, mine would be, it's not really going to be my documents, but um, uh, but uh, one thing I do is I go to C drive, when I go to C drive, I go to users, when I go to users, I go to the name of my uh, computer, uh, so when I get there, then I go, uh, then I go to um, uh, doc document doc uh, not document downloads music pictures. You click on the pictures, and, you, and as you guys can see, I have a ton of picture images on my PC. But anyways, I'm just gonna look for uh, uh, just one of the images so um, I'm just gonna click on this montage image okay then, then when you do that when you click on it like that you, you can either double click it or uh, or or click open okay so 
yeah as you guys can see it's it's on here now and once again to move this all you gotta do is go down here and make sure it's on this blue okay whatever okay so after that then right click on it okay so um, in most cases you might not see you might not see anything but what I want you guys to do is go down here and go to textures okay so when you go to textures um, then it shows you uh, the image okay so when you get there it shows you the image to to rotate the image once again you come down here then you rotate the image to help you rotate the image then you can rotate it and do whatever you want with it yeah to zoom it's the scrolling wheel you scroll forward to zoom okay and as you can see guys um, this is an a drawing I made myself I'll use an illustrator okay so you can move this this way you can do it that way and you can expand it if you want I'm just gonna expand it a little bit okay uh, okay you can make it as big as you want you could do this to make it go upside down you could do this to make it look like this okay uh, so so that's it I hope this actually helps someone on how to import images in Blender. Um, once again, thank you guys. I make tutorials on Blender and I hope you guys will keep watching my videos. Thank you.